In this episode of the online classroom, we'll use a pairwise analysis to look at a systems approach to a straightforward problem, which is keeping a lawn neat. So a pairwise analysis is a method of comparing customer or design attributes or requirements to form a basis of all the future design decisions. Now that we have an understanding of the vague customer requirements, we need to understand which requirements are more important than the other. So here we have a standard pairwise table which has the customer requirements listed on the left and you'll note that the same requirements on the left are listed across the top. Along the diagonal you can't compare the two like with like requirements. So with the pairwise analysis you go through a process where you compare the requirements against each other. Going along the rows, if it's considered more important you give it a 1 and if it's considered less important than what's in the column you give it a 0. So here I've said that durable is more important than being cheap. Durable is less important than cuts grass. Durable is less important than being easy to use. But being durable is more important than uh, a low maintenance requirement. Uh, and likewise, being durable is also more important than it looking good. Being durable is less important than being reliable and having spare parts is less important than being durable. Uh, and likewise, it's more important that it's durable than it's recyclable. Once you've gone through the table, you can end up with a score column, which is just the sum of the uh, ones and the zeros in the row. Also note that because the pairwise is transitive, that is, if durable is more desirable than cheap, it'll score a one. And likewise, cheap is more desirable than durable, it'll score a zero. At the end of constructing the table, you have an opposite reflection down the diagonal that I've put here in red. So you'll see that the numbers uh, are inverted as you go down the column. So you can do the same thing for cheap, and I've just gone ahead and done this. Uh, and likewise for all of the rest of the variables until you finish out the table. Uh, and at the end, you'll end up with a score column, uh, which you can then use to rank the customer requirements with the highest scoring requirement and ranking first and the lowest scoring requirements ranking last. So here we have uh, a score of nine for cuts grass and subsequently it gets a rank of one uh, and spare parts and cheap both score uh, a one, which puts them in equal ninth ranking. Note that we have two equally ranking pairs of requirements. So durable and reliable both rank 4 and cheap and spare parts both rank 9th. For the next online classroom, I'm only going to consider the top five requirements because otherwise it will become way too big uh, to demonstrate the ideas. So I want to be able to split the durable and reliable requirements. And one way you can split the, the requirements are to look at perhaps using some half marks to try and separate these requirements. So using a half mark here, you could go back through just those two to find out which one might come out on top. Another obvious way that you could compare them is to have a look at which one did you think was more important, reliable or durable. And given in this scenario that reliable comes out on top on both of those, then reliable should be ranked fourth and durable should be ranked fifth. Note that when we go back to the scenario, the scores are still the same because we don't want to in introduce half marks into the, the scoring system, but the ranks have now been determined. So reliable is at fourth and durable is at fifth. So here I've highlighted the top five uh, and now we have uh, a good understanding of which, the, which of the requirements are the most important. This will be the concern for following online classrooms because the point of these are just to get the idea across. A full and complete analysis would require all of the requirements to be considered and that includes all of the sub requirements or the uh, attributes. So a recap of the key ideas from the pairwise analysis classroom. Pairwise help us prioritize the customer and design requirements. They try to keep the requirements at the same level. So when you're going through, make sure that none of them are nested below requirements and to be prepared for change. 
So the moment that you've done this, it's probably out of date. When you next meet with your customer, they're likely to change their mind, which might then trickle down through the rest of the system. So that's it for this online classroom. Make sure you do the reading that's available on the website and the self-test that's available on Model. See you next time.